Hello again, welcome back to the Mark IV Sterling engine. Um, so I'm all ready to build the thing now, so um, I better crack on.
Um, so I've been fairly hard at it this week. Um, I've got a fair bit done, so I'm quite happy. Um, it's nice after you've um, thought about um, this, uh, these kind of projects for quite a while, and then you can actually start getting, getting to actually build it. So that's a nice place to be. I'll just take you through some of the um, few bits I've done in a minute. So from the top, so I've managed to get the main, um, the main body of the thing together. Luckily, everything went to go without a hitch. So I've put all these laser cut um, steel plates together and I've welded it to the side of our, our rocket stove. I've tried to get it as straight as possible. Um, it's pretty much as good as I can get it. Um, it's not because due to the design, it's not imperative that it's perfect. But I think uh, I think we'll be right there. So that's all tacked together. I haven't welded this up yet. I've just got it tacked together at the moment. That'll be the next phase. Um, I welded these these uh, these uh, I call it a cylinder assembly. It's not really a cylinder, but it's uh, it's like a spacer area where the uh, the diaphragm piston will work 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 in. You can see where the ends of the heat exchanger tubes are going to be coming through. Um, this is there's going to be a shaft that goes through here, um, and that will have a, uh, a lever here for the piston, piston diaphragm piston, whatever you want to call it, um, and then that will be going back to the main shaft, which will be going through here. Um, you can see down the this is where the flue will come up, so that's where the heat exchanger is going to be in here. So I've taken some two inch uh, tube. Um, this is only mild steel, 1.5 millimeter wool, um, and I've literally flattened it. This can be achieved through rolling it or or pressing pressing it down. What I've done is I've put a three millimeter spacer in the middle, um, then pushed it against that, and then I extracted the spacer from the middle. Some of the ends got a bit bashed up. It took me a while to work out how to get the spacer out. Um, what you actually have to do, you have to just go along with the vise and just squeeze squeeze the tube out a little bit, just so you can extract that uh, easily. So there's our chimney. I've just tacked the bottom one for the moment. What I shall do, I shall bolt that to the sterling engine when that's all welded together. And then I'll weld it together to try and stop it twisting, twisting the plate. Um, I found on the top here, it's always best to put a ring of some kind along there. Um, what I've actually done is I've got some, uh, found some wire and I've actually twisted it all together. I thought that make quite a nice sort of uh, top hat to go on there. Um, I shall probably TIG weld that on. I've just purchased a new TIG welder for myself. It's only a basic, um, cheap Chinese model, um, but hopefully um, that will help me help me build this. All right, this is the uh, the piston assemblies, so to speak. So these will be here like that, going in and out with the diaphragm. So I've welded these pieces on. Um, I've put our bearings in. Put our bearings in. Um, these are held in with Loctite. There shouldn't be too much heat get to this area, so I think they should be fine. Um, and the same with the crank, uh, uh, the connecting rod side. Um, I've put the bearings in and held those in with Loctite. These rods, well, not on this. No, not, oh, let's go on the other side. So I'm just juggling things in. So this rod will go from the, the crank up to the lever, one of the levers there. That'll be up, up in that kind of position, um, like so. Daddy, I got my so there you go, that's the update for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and also I'm very interested to hear what you think about all this. Um, I'm sure there's always, uh, there's always some great ideas that come out of the woodwork, um, so, uh, ideas that I can actually apply to it, uh, just to sort of evolve the project as we go along. So um, I'll see you also next time. Ta-ta.